Does braking when cornering make you slower in go-karting? Well, today I'm at the Lucille karting track to find out. To keep this experiment fair, for the first half of the session, I am not allowed to use the brake. For the second half of the session, however, I am allowed to use the brake as normal. I'm going to be driving on the World Cup layout, and this layout, generally speaking, only has three main braking points. The turn nine hairpin, the turn 10 hairpin, and the turn 15 right-hander. So let's compare both laps and find out which one was faster. So we're starting both laps heading down turns one, two, and three. These are taken absolutely flat out and almost a mirror image on both laps. Coming up to turn four, just pause it at the turning point. We actually have to lift for turn four, no need to break, but we're almost identical, carrying the speed through the double right-hander and now the fast part of the track. Coming up to the sweeping left-hander, look on the right-hand side, we use a bit more of the uh, outside part of the track, which will probably give us a better exit now through the left and now the right, carrying that speed down the back straight. This is important, coming up to our typical braking point. Let's focus on the left-hand side over here, because as the blue and white strip starts, now we have to lift off relatively early before the corner. Look on the right-hand side now, halfway down the blue and white strip, now we're actually hitting the brake pedal. Let's see where this ends up at the exit part of the corner. We're slightly ahead on the right hand side, which is the lap where we did break. We got better exit speed. Coming up to the second typical braking point. This is for the hairpin turn. We lift and we brake at pretty much the same point, but notice how the traction and the rotation I get on the right hand side, enabling me to pull ahead by almost a cart's length. Now we're going on to the back end of the lap now. So we've gained a lot of time by braking just by two corners. Coming up to turn uh, 15 now, the right hander, by lifting on the left hand side, it slightly unsettled the cart, probably lost a tenth there. But again, on the right hand side, excellent rotation into the apex point. Now the final part of the lap is flat out. So it's all about your exit speed off turn 15. And because I got better exit speed off of turn 15, this is all uh, gonna contribute towards me pulling even further ahead as we go all the way up to the line. And let's see how much of a difference there's going to be between the two laps. And that is what a 0.651 second gap looks like. So why was I faster with braking? Braking allows you to reach the optimal speed for cornering faster. It also gives you better rotation in the cart, so you're able to apex easier. Now on the laps where I did not brake, for the turn nine hairpin for example, where I just lifted off, the cart had so much more understeer, which happens because I was carrying too much entry speed, therefore my exit speed would be a lot slower. So I was consistently slower between lap one to seven, which is where I was not braking, only lifting, but immediately my timing improved between lap eight and 12, which is when I started braking for the key corners. Now, I hope you enjoyed this experiment video. I want you to try this experiment at your go-karting track and let me know the results in the comments. But until the next video, guys, keep karting and carry on.